Hello, everyone. My name is Mo Zofikar, and welcome to another episode of Income Investors. With me today is John Whitefoot with another exciting income pick. If you want to read more about what John writes on a regular basis, you could head to IncomeInvestors.com. You can find the link to the website in the description below. Talk about building a thriving green energy and being carbon neutral by 2050 has turned some investor off oil and gas stocks. In fact, 69% of Americans want to prioritize developing alternative energy source and 31% want to phase out fossil fuels completely. For energy bulls, it's important to remember that the modern world is fueled by oil and with current technology, we still have over 50 years of oil left and global reserve increase over time. The fact is oil isn't going away. The world needs oil and it needs midstream companies like Frontline PLC traded on New York Stock Exchange under symbol FRO to deliver it. John? Yes, thanks, Mo. Frontline, it's actually a great stock we've been following for a while now, and it just keeps getting better. Since first looking at Frontline two years ago, FRO stock has rallied an impressive 249%. On February 16th, it hit a new 52-week intraday high of $24.53. That's its highest trading range in more than 10 years. And it continues to trade near that level. And the outlook for Frontline remains pretty robust. And I'll just give you a few statistics or points to that end. It reported its strongest full year results in 15 years. It started taking delivery of 24 very large crude carrier vessels, or VLCCs, doubling exposure to the VLCC market. The last VLCC is expected to be delivered in the first quarter of 2024. It also sold off five of its oldest VLCCs for $290 million and sold off the oldest Suez Max tanker for $45 million. Moreover, disruptions in the Red Sea are benefiting larger vessel classes as oil products. And uh, other goods are forced to move around the Cape of Good Hope and around the tip of Southern Africa. Before we go into any details, uh, give us an overview of what Frontline actually does. As you can probably guess, Frontline is a shipping company that owns one of the largest and most modern fleets in, in the industry. It ships crude oil and oil products in the Arabia Gulf, North Sea, West Africa, and the Caribbean. The company's fleet of ships currently includes 44 VLCCs. Again, they're capable of carrying 2 million barrels of oil each, 25 Suez Max ships. They can carry 1 million barrels of crude and 18 Aframax vessels. They're carrier, capable of carrying around 600,000 barrels of, of crude oil. And it recently reported its strongest full year results in 15 years history. Yeah, 2023 was a pretty great year for, for Frontline. For the fourth quarter, into December uh, 31st, Frontline reported revenue of $415 million and profit of more than $118 million, or $0.53 cents per share. The company announced that full-year revenue increased 27% to $1.82 billion, actually, while profits grew 38% to $656.4 million, or $2.95 per share. Adjusted profits, meanwhile, jumped 59% to $1.59 per share. Now, getting back to the fourth quarter, Frontline's break-even rates for its entire fleet was 25700 which sounds high. But by vessel, the average daily time chart equivalent rate during the fourth quarter was 42300 for VLCCs, 45,700 for Suez Max vessels, and 42,900 for Aframax. It announced a fourth quarter dividend of 37 cents per share. Yeah, Frontline's goal is to distribute quarterly dividends equal to or close to earnings per share adjusted for non recurring items. Now, the timing and amount of dividends is, of course, at the discretion of the board of directors. As we've seen, the board isn't shy to act. It actually suspended its dividend during the 2020 health crisis and reinstated it in the second quarter of 2022 at 15 cents per share. Then, of course, because the distribution is based on earnings, it will fluctuate. Most recently, it declared a fourth quarter distribution of 37 cents per share or $2.17 per share on an annual basis for a current yield of 9.3%. That's triple current inflation rate of 3.1%. And as already discussed, frontline stock has also uh, recovered from the 2020 health crisis, trading at its highest level since 2012. Frontline stock is currently up as of this recording. I think it's 17% year to date and 46% year over year. And the outlook uh, remains bright for Frontline, with strong first quarter 2024 TCE rates guidance, uh, which should help juice its profitability and energize investor optimism. John, thank you so much for your insight. Just to recap, Frontline has a lot going on for now. The demand for VLCCs is exceptionally strong. It recently purchased 24 modern VLCCs. It also entered in an agreement to sell five of its oldest VLCCs and one of his oldest Suez Max tankers for an aggregate of $335 million. It also reported strongest full year financial results in 15 years and provided the strong guidance for the first quarter of 2020. 
four. And all of these developments bodes well for frontline stock and its dividends. That's it for today. Make sure to go to IncomeInvestors.com now to get our free special reports on three income stock to own today. One of those stocks currently has a dividend yield of 12.7%. You can find the link to IncomeInvestors.com in the description below. We'll be back with more income picks soon, so stay tuned. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Goodbye for now.